As you prepare your swimming pool supplies for the season, if you have them, chlorine is probably at the top of your list, but a national shortage could mean it's going to cost you more this summer. Lindsay Stone, our lifeguard in training, joins us now <laughs> live with how the shortage could affect Hoosier pool owners this summer. Good morning. Good morning. You remember that when I had to go through lifeguard training? Yeah, this, this is paying off now, right? So central Indiana is starting to heat up outside, and Hoosiers, like many of us, getting excited about the pool getting about to be open. But chlorine, a key chemical in ensuring the water is safe, is in short supply and costing Americans a lot more this summer. Pool shops across central Indiana tell me they've seen the price of chlorine nearly triple, and it's been hard to keep stocked on the shelves. Indy Parks says they've been stocking up on chlorine in anticipation of the upcoming season. In, and they don't expect the shortage to impact opening all 16 pools this summer. So we're not in like freak out mode, but I mean, with everything going up inflation wise across the country, there's going to be some inflation with our chemicals and whatnot. Last year was really bad. This year it, it's better, um, but it's like if we get it, and if anybody finds out about it, they they come they come as soon as they hear, and it's it's sold out within a matter of days. So how can you keep swimming during this chlorine shortage? Well, if you can't find chlorine tablets, think about using liquid chlorine instead. Another alternative to chlorine is a chemical bromine. That's an excellent sanitizer, but unlike chlorine, it doesn't have that strong scent that we're used to. And while it does cost more upfront, pool experts recommend thinking about switching to a saltwater pool, also a good option. So as you try these different solutions, pool experts say just think about testing your pool water a little bit more just to ensure that it's safe. It's a great way to reduce chlorine costs and make that supply of chlorine last a little bit longer without compromising the safety or water quality. Here in the studio, Lindsay Stone, Fox 59 News. Lindsay, good advice.